Hi friends, it's Monica and let's talk about what's on my May and June TBR. For this TBR, I did choose seven books that I'm very excited to get to and let's just dive in right into the first one which is Witch King by Martha Wells. And I'm actually quite excited about this one because I haven't read a Martha Wells book before but I know she is known for her Murder Bot series which is a sci-fi series and I believe Witch King is a adult fantasy series. I actually did get an arc from NetGalley of Witch King so I'm very excited to tackle this one ASAP. We're following Kai, a demon from the underworld who has been quote-unquote assassinated. However, when someone tries to steal his magic, Kai wakes up from like a deep slumber and now he has to figure out what the heck has happened to him and why he has been unconscious for this entire time. Honestly, I really don't know what to expect going into this one, but I really do hope I like the writing. Next up is an adult romance. This is Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez, and I have liked her two other novels I have read from her, which is the Happy Ever After playlist and A Part of Your World, which I both absolutely loved. This one, we're following a romance and we're centered around two doctors who harbors a great dislike for each other, especially for Dr. Brianna Ortiz, who is also recently divorced and also trying to find a kidney for her brother. And well, who do you know is a perfect match for the kidney donation is our love interest, Dr. Jacob Maddox, and Brianna has a love-hate relationship with him, but she may be unable to resist his charms. <laughs> From this one, I'm expecting romantic moments and I wouldn't mind a cheesy rom-com scene or two of that. Next up on my TBR is The Aloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson. People also refer to this first book in the series as part of the second era of Mistborn series. This series does take place 300 years after the main trilogy, which has a very unique magic system where the characters would ingest metals and that would grant them superhuman abilities. And that same magic system is in The Aloy of Law. I actually don't want to dive too much into the synopsis of this book because I do want to be surprised going into it. I know we're following characters called Wax and Wayne and it's like a steampunk fantasy setting and I really do hope that we get some maybe appearances of old characters from the main trilogy. But I am very excited to see how Brandon Sanderson mixes his magical system with more steampunk elements and more guns and stuff and how that plays out. Next is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller and this is a historical fictional retelling. I did read Circe from the same author which was not quite up to my taste and it was a little bit slow moving that one but I do think Song of Achilles is more faster and action oriented. Although I am not super familiar with all the details and nuances of Greek mythology, I'm still really excited to get into this one. And in this book, we are following Achilles, who is strong, swift, and beautiful, and no one can really resist him. We also have an exiled prince, Patroclus, and he and Achilles, they form a really tight bond. They're both trained in the arts of war and medicine until the call for a real war comes when Helen of Spartar is kidnapped. So now that we know all that information, I'm actually quite curious to see how the Spartan Trojan War will now play out. I did choose a book that has been sitting on my shelf for quite some time and it is Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore by Robin Sloan. When I first did pick up this book, I was thinking a book about a bookstore and that sounds interesting and I just picked it up but now I'm finally getting around to it. We're following Clay Janin, who was working a tech job but now is working the night shift at a bookstore in San Francisco. He quickly finds out that this bookstore is quite strange. Customers come in and they browse around for hours without purchasing anything. And customers also really ask for obscure books. And maybe that there's also a deeper conspiracy going on for eternal life. For Clay himself, he might just find a little bit of romance in there. I'm really excited to see what this bookstore and its secrets hold for us and I'm really happy to finally get to this book. Next we have an epic adult fantasy series and that I wanted to start for quite some time now, The Fifth Season by N.K. Jeminson. In this world, its planet is dying when a giant rift opens up and spews ash and fire into the air. 
There is also a collapse of a thousand-year-old empire who has thousands of its citizens being murdered by a madman. In the midst of all that, we're following a vengeful mother, a son, who after coming home discovers that her husband has murdered their son and also kidnapped their daughter. So now she is trekking her way through this deadly land to save her daughter's life. With that kind of synopsis, I'm very, very interested to see how this book will play out. Last but not least is another rom-com and it is The Unhoneymooners by Christiana Lauren. This book was everywhere a couple years ago and I'm finally getting around to it and I feel like it's the perfect time to pick up this book because it's not spring, summer's on the horizon, so I wanted something a little bit more beachy. Olive is our unlucky protagonist and is now being forced by her twin sister Amy, who is getting married, to spend the entire day with her worst enemy and who is also the best man, Ethan. And what do you know, the entire wedding party gets food poisoning and there is a all expenses paid vacation to Hawaii that's up for grabs. Oh yeah, and the only people who are not affected by the food poisoning are Olive and Ethan and they also decide to go on that honeymoon together. Honestly, I would do the same thing because it's free and I want to go to Hawaii. <laughs> As it turns out, Olive's future boss is also in Hawaii and Olive and Ethan, they have to pretend to be newlyweds. So I feel like this novel will be really lighthearted and fun. Those were all my hopefuls for both May and June and I'm hoping to get to all of them. I want to say thank you so much for watching this entire video and don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and don't forget to ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!